2,200 meters, and away they go from the 2,200 meter marker. Let's see how they're going to play this one. One of the first out is Dawn Mission. That's near the rail. Wild Style is right there shortly after the start, and Creator's got a good position. Greenback Currency, that's in the black. On the outside of that is Rockfall, and then comes Is You Is or Is You Ain't. Then Temperate Zone and La Drima, and Duke of Africa's already about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Creator is in front, Is You Is or Is You Ain't going around them, and Dawn Mission is back third with Rockfall. Then Greenback Currency, followed by Wild Style, La Drima, Temperate Zone, and Duke of Africa's about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Is you is or is you ain't and creator, those are the two. Dawn Mission, Rockfall is on the outside. Greenback Currency, that's in the black. Then comes Wild Style, Temperate Zone and La Drima. And Duke of Africa still about this nine or ten lengths off the leader. Is you is or is you ain't takes him towards the thousand meter region. Creator, Rockfall, then Dawn Mission. Greenback Currency, Wild Style, then Temperate Zone. Behind that is La Drima, and Duke of Africa continues to trail, still about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Is you is or is you ain't? Rockfall has moved into second position. On the inside of that one is Creator, now followed by Dawn Mission, Temperate Zone, Greenback Currencies on the outside. Further back is Wild Style, Duke of Africa is now getting the wake up. Bow to be homeward bound. Is you is or is you ain't. Rockfall's quick to move. Greenback currency. Temperate zone comes out for a run. Duke of Africa and down the inside of that dawn mission. The leader is Rockfall, but temperate zone's a danger. Greenback currency has to check, has to come around. Temperate zone, they hit the front past the 200 meter. And temperate zone is quickened away by two or three lens. And temperate zone is not for the catching. Temperate zone will win by about five or six lens. So he has temperate zone to win by five or six. Second, greenback currency. The third position will go to Rockfall. And fourth, Duke of Africa in a well-stretched outfield. Number seven, and it's temperate zone, the ideal world. This one for Gary Green, Michelle Green, Stefanga, Moodley, Sean Mayneal, and Kotoi. And was it bred by Volgobus Drift and Maritzentain and steps up to the 2200 and temperate zone number seven shows up at 420 and wins by about six lengths. Second number two, Greenback Currency. It was a well stretched outfield. Third position will go to number six, Rock Fall. And the fourth position to Duke of Africa. Further back in the run was Dawn Mission. The tote favorite number two, Greenback Currency. But temperate zone with the blue cap, two off the right-hand side, makes an early move into the stretch and then runs away from the opposition. You'll see Muzi is uh, starting to pose past the 200. He looks both ways, and temperate zone is a runaway victor. So there he looks to the left, looks to the right, and it's all over for temperate zone. Until the running of race six, back to the studio. Welcome back to the winner's area here at Hollywood Bet's Gravel Racecourse after the running of race number five and it has been won by number seven, Temperate Zone. This is from the Paul Lafferty Yard and it was ridden by Muzi Yeni, a top class ride and the man who takes care of number seven, Temperate Zone, is Nkumbisi and he receives a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bet's and Gold Circle. Well done to you, sir. Okay, let's see who we're going to get in first. Let's get the winning trainer in first. Paul, I thought this horse looked exceptionally well in the parade ring and the distance will suit down to the ground, beautifully bred as well. Yeah, we, we bought him from a top stud and uh, I always thought that he had the stained look about him. I was extremely disappointed with his last run, I couldn't put it together and if you have a look, he ran uh, alongside the horses he took on today and he beat them 10 lengths minimum, you know, he's, he's a fair stay, a stay all day. I, I, I didn't know which was the better of my two and uh, uh, Keegan's comeback said the other horse didn't stay. He said he hit the front head going well, but he didn't stand. But this horse is uh, a real stain type, you know. Gold Cup type horse. He's still he's, he's, he's a beautiful horse. He's by a very good stallion. He's from a top 
that form, and I'm good, very pleased my mates are involved. You know, Christopher and Lucky aren't here, but uh, neither is Michelle, but uh, Gary and Sean are here, and you know, I'm, I'm absolutely chilled, uh, thrilled for them. Well, congratulations to you once again. I thought both, both horses were looked exceptionally well in the parade ring, but this horse just skated clear from the field. Yeah, he, he looks useful. You know, I was, uh, eight lengths surprised me, but uh, I, I, I thought they were, they were both the same as my, my two horses coming in the next race. People have asked me, who's the better one, you know, uh, Bellasic Home or, uh, or the other? And I said, sure, you know, they're neither been 19. You know, who knows? They both love the gravel turf, so we're just hoping. So it's very hard to be accurate about which is the right one, you know. Well done to you. Congratulations once again, and we hope to see you in the winner's enclosure again soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks very much to Paul Lafferty. Let's get Muzi Yeni in. I thought a really top ride from you. This horse looked exceptionally well. Just skated clear from the opposition. Yes, uh, uh, studying the race on paper, it looked like there wouldn't be much, much speed on. And my intention was to try to be fairly handy, but also I didn't want to force him. He's a young horse trying the trip for the first time. So if I could have been third, fourth, that's where I dreamed to be. But uh, on paper, it didn't look like that. And I tried to get a, a good start, but he got a bump. And before you know it, four or five, we all wanted the same position and we ended up going very, very fast and it became a real test of stamina. But I just allowed him to s just warm up in his race. I left him alone the first half of the race and slowly, slowly I could just feel him warming underneath me and I could pick them one by one. Ended up cruising into the lead. Uh, just nice to see him come back. He gave me a real good feel when I rode him and I thought he would be above average and I was a little bit disappointed in his next two starts. Obviously, maybe that's what he's looking for. It's a stamina type of horse, and it looks like got a bright future over distance. Looks like he's going to really go on from here because it was a very nice win, and you said that he gave you a very good feel going down to the start as well. Yeah, he gave me a good feel when I rode him first time out, so I expected him to, sh to win quickly, and he obviously lost his way, but I think he was just in search of the ground. Well done. You're really riding at the top of your game, and if I'm not mistaken, you've got two more rides left? Yes, I think uh, Nathan Carson's one in the last is my, in my it looked like one of my best rides. So, but a second, I'm in the winner's box, so I'm happy. <laughs> Thanks very much, Muzi. Well done once again. Thank you very much. I really want to thank all the partners, the Green family, Mr. Finger, Mr. Moodley, and to one personal friend of mine in Joburg, Mr. Kotoy. I think Larry Weinstein gave him some shares. So, <laughs> nice that uh, we didn't put him on, we put him on a smart horse. Always gave me a good feel from the beginning, and nice that he's shown it. Well done once again. Thank you. Well trained by Mr. Laff and his team. Let's get some of the winning connections in. Let's get Sean in. Well done to you, sir. I thought a fantastic victory. Thank you very much. This horse looks exceptionally well going down to the start, and he came back just as well. Uh, it, it was a, we, we, we expected a good run. Um, left, left turned him out very well, and, and, and we expected a good run. But it's quite special for me. Um, he's racing in my father's colors. And uh, it's our first win in those colors. So dad at home. That's awesome. Um, and just a thank you to all the partners involved, my, my business partner who got me involved in the races. And just one other thank you. Um, there's, a, there's a good friend of ours up in Joburg. When he backs a horse that wins, Mr. Werners, you brought this one home. Thank you all. Well, it's absolutely fantastic to see you guys leading your horse in, especially as an owner. It's, it's such a good feeling. The adrenaline rush, the adrenaline's pumping, even watching the race. So it's fantastic to see, see you guys leading the horse in with all smiles on your face. Thank you very much. It was a great day. Awesome. Well done to you once again and hope the winning streak doesn't stop here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. That's a wrap for the interviews for race number five on the card. Well done to all the winning connections of number seven, Temperate Zone. It was bred by Volker Borstrift and Moritz Fontaine. Well done to all the winning connections. We'll see you back in the studio for the preview of race number six.